Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff. And in the last video, we have learned how we can upload our post data to backend server. Now, in this video, uh, we we'll learn how we can use put patch and delete HTTP methods. So previously, we have seen how we can use get HTTP method to get the data or to fetch the data, and also we have seen the post how we can upload our post data to backend server and also we have learned annotation path and annotation query now in this video we'll see put patch delete http methods so the difference between put and patch is put update whole object where patch update just the fits and we'll see the difference when we'll write the code and the delete will just uh, delete one post while uh, we'll pass the id there and based on that ID, it will delete that post and it will give us the response. Okay, so I'll just minimize this. And now in our, so first I will just have a comment on this. Add in our JSON placeholder interface. We'll create another method and we'll use annotation put. And here we'll pass post slash curly braces id call and here will pass post and we'll name it this method as put post and here we need to pass the annotation path of id and the variable for it so int id and then we need to pass one post uh, object so post post and also we'll create one method for patch so patch and similarly we need to pass post slash id and we'll call this method as patch post annotation path id int id and the second parameter will be post and also we'll just create method for delete so delete and here we'll pass post id and call and here we'll pass a void delete post annotation path here we just need to pass the id so id int id and then semicolon okay so one thing uh, we cannot pass directly post here we need to use annotation body i forgot it and here as well so annotation body okay now this will be happy so now in the main activity we'll create our one method so we'll name it as update post and hit on the red bulb create new method in main activity and here first of all we'll create instance of post equals to new post and we'll pass some random data so first is the user id so 13 and let's provide title as new title and body as a null and then same column now we'll create one call we'll pass post as a type and we'll name it as a call so json placeholder dot post and here we need to pass the id so we'll pass two and then the post call dot and q and here we need to pass new callback and on failure listener you can take care of that just display one toast and here again we'll check if response is not successful then you can display one toast but now i'll just return from here and then we'll create one list of type post name it as a post list and equals to new array list then post list 
dot add response dot body and then we'll call our post adapter and here we need to pass context so main activity dot this and then post list recycler view dot set adapter and here we'll pass the adapter okay so just a display one toast here as a response dot code and display one toast here t dot get message so now i'll just hit on the run button and we'll see it's working or not so as you can see user id is 13 id is 2 and title is new title where body is null okay so we are using a put method here so we just pass one field as a null and it got update here as a null so now we'll see the difference between update and sorry put and patch so instead of writing put here we'll just call patch post method okay so now i'm passing body as a null and i will hit on the run button again but this time we are using the patch method so user id 13 id 2 and title new but the body we pass null but it doesn't update it because the patch method doesn't update a whole object it just update the fields that we have passed there so we pass body as a null so it just remained the same that uh, it was already having the body but uh, when we use put method it just update a whole object so we pass the null and it makes the body as null as well okay so now we'll see the delete post i'll just minimize this we'll call delete post hit on the right bulb and create method so we'll just create one call of void let's name it as a call equals to json placeholder dot delete post and here we'll pass random id as a 2 then call dot nq new callback again you can take care of this on failure listener so if response is not successful return and if it is successful we can still display one toast as deleted successfully with the response code so deleted successfully and we'll concatenate it with the response dot code it will show us uh, HTTP code 200. So the HTTP 200 means OK status means it has been successfully done. So we'll just uh, have comment on this as well. So delete post and what we can do. We can make uh, this length as long. So it will be visible for longer duration. And now I'll just hit on this run button. So as you can see deleted successfully with the code 200 so 200 means uh, okay status or successful status so it has been deleted successfully so that's it for this tutorial about a retrofit so make sure you subscribe to channel for upcoming tutorials and thank you for watching